this at the dinner. I can't get my f***ing Netflix to work. I have three sources at the West Wing saying Valerie is on the warpath. You might think that. I couldn't possibly comment. Is it true you've been hoarding tickets to the dinner? Where are you getting that? Ed Henry. Oh, you mean Mr. Ed Tegrity. Oh, I've got to go. That's Jeff Zucker on the other line. How about this? You tweet it and I'll retweet it. All right. Build a pass, then. Well, I did, but that stingy whore wouldn't give me my Ravens tickets. Gotta go. Refill? To the top. Ben, this is so much cooler than the correspondence dinner. Your colonoscopy would be cooler than that dinner. You can't run for mayor again, Mike. That'll put Anthony Weiner in a pickle, and then he'll tweet that pickle. Well, what do you suggest? Well, president of the Correspondence Association. Doesn't that position only last for a year? Well, since when have term limits ever stopped you? Then you should know, Mike. Ed drinks big gulps. Ed Henry, Kevin. I want him out. I'll make some calls. Is that Frank on the phone? Let me talk to him. Frank, it's Charlie Rose. Tell me this. Why did you cancel last week? Margaret Thatcher died. I was in mourning. Okay, how about next week? Well, I'm already booked on the Today Show, but Doug will be in touch. Okay. If I play ball, will you at least get Bloomberg off my back? <laughs> Give me your absolute, unquestioning loyalty. That's a pretty big ask. 42 seconds during the dinner to say whatever I want. Take 45. Washington and Hollywood. Some new faces, some old faces, some new faces on old faces. And I do sympathize, Conan, and not just for that backstabbing Leno, but having to host... It must be so hard to write jokes about a town that already is one. Democrats, Republicans, the White House, Congress, you all came together to make this spoof. That's what real bipartisanship looks like. I may lie, cheat, and intimidate to get what I want, but at least I get the job done. So I hope some of you are taking notes. Well, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see all of you at the Bloomberg Vanity Fair party. That is, those of you who got an invite. Oh, and Mr. President... Welcome to Nerd Prom. Oh. A shout out to Kevin Spacey, <clears throat> pardon me, who threw out me out of his office pro bono. Sorry to Jay Carney. <clears throat> Jay Carney offered to throw me out of his office. He wanted to pay to do that. Good evening, Mr. President, Mrs. Obama, General Rodierno, my fellow board members, distinguished guests, and the folks from MSNBC, too. <laughs> Welcome <clears throat> to the White House Correspondents' Dinner, or as you heard, the nerd prom. But unlike the real prom, most of you were able to actually find a date this time. The President brought Mrs. Obama. We thank her for being here again. I brought my own First Lady, Shirley, my kids, my good friends, my parents and sister who actually saw me at the prom and have photo, photographic evidence of my blue tux and mullet to prove it. After last year's dinner, Tom Brokaw, who we all greatly